side in this video we'll discuss about most uh, top gainer stock first here you can see uh, this one Tata Motors and the daily chart now you can see most of the people are very excited to buy in Tata Motors right they are continuously buying and uh, right now Tata Motors are just below their resistance line at the level of uh, 304 this is the strong resistance line uh, let me show you why is it important and why is it an important resistance line so if you want to see the monthly chart so let me zoom in more this is the monthly monthly chart you can see monthly chart in this level price was rejecting you see and right now exactly there are 200 exponential moving average ema 200 EM okay. at a level of 304. 304. Now that is why I'm not looking for buy below 304 because this is a strong resistance. And if you not see in a daily chart, price are overextended. You see from moving averages right now here you can see uh, price are too far from moving average so i'm not interested to buy here so let's see in a small time frame how market are behaving all right so in that case uh, let me show you rsi and this one h1 they are bouncing up 20 moving average and let's see in a 15 moving average uh, sorry 15 minute chart and the 15 minute uh, I can see price are continuing toward the upside, uh, but I'm looking for a breakout. All right, so I'm looking for a breakout this 304 level, and after that, I need a pullback. So then I will go for buy. So this is a uh, Tata, uh, sorry, Tata Motors, and then now next, let's see, this is a Bajaj Finance, as I said yesterday let's see but as finance okay 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 this one was as finance our uh, first uh, let me show you daily chart uh, as I said earlier that they form a one white soldier and we are looking for buy so we must find out the reason like all right, let's check it weekly. Is it there any resistance line in a weekly basis? Okay, that is the last point. Now, this is the resistance line. And uh, monthly, no resistance. Now, let's jump to daily chart. I can see here, <laughs> somewhere here, they act as a resistance. resistance. So, if you want to buy somewhere here, in a small time frame, you just close your position around 5, 3, 5, uh, let's say 6, 0. You must close your position here. It is a probability to give a correction from this area. So, see in a small time frame, our entry and exit point. So, now you can see a uh, resistance line are uh, somewhere there and price are. Uh, uh, creating new higher high higher low and they're bouncing off 50 moving average exactly here and we are looking for buy after forming a bullish signal and our target would be 53 uh, 60 your resistance line our uh, target price and another next reliance I have a big holding on Reliance. So, okay, let's check it Reliance. Okay, this one. Where this is a 15 minute, let's jump to, okay, this one daily chart. As I said earlier, Reliance, we was looking for buy after breaking this. Our raise them line because we have seen multiple rejection rejection and the rejection and finally price broke uh, this resistance line 
and that was our buy opportunity. So we must find out the resi now next the resistance line. So how we will draw a resistance line? So we are looking for most recent or nearest swing point. So what is the most nearest swing point? So let me draw here this one. So now why I drawn this level because this level are uh, 2185 2185 level are respecting from both sides here you can see they are respecting as a resistance and a resistance and this level act as a support all right now it should be coming a resistance somewhere here that is why this level is important level now you can see uh, price broke this resistance line and next day they are targeting to this level so means in between this area we are looking for buy only okay now let's jump to a small time frame like five minutes to find out the market behavior and i can see if you want to see the price are bouncing of 50 moving average so you see price create a new high pull back near 50 they form uh, bullish candlestick pattern so you can say morning star candlestick pattern somewhere here all right so see here exactly near key level the forming uh, morning star candlestick pattern and that is our buy opportunity and the price gone up again price pulled back near 50 moving average so they are forming a bullish uh, pin bar so that 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 is our buy opportunity so we are looking for buy and our target is somewhere there near resistance line all right so let's check it another stock uh this is uh Bajas. okay uh Bajas auto let's jump to Bajas auto the last one Bajas auto where is the budget auto this one okay all right now i can see uh, first daily time frame uh, price uh, over extended uh, let's check it weekly chart to find out any support and risk and there are no support and resistance all right so how we will identify support and resistance okay so in that case we are using some fibonacci tools to find out the support and resistance now you can see that is our impulsive wave corrective wave next we must find out impulsive wave so let me draw a Fibonacci tools okay. somewhere there let me remove here Okay, so 138 next 161 percent extension. That is our our resting line. Okay, now let's jump to small time frame like weekly, daily, and I can see they are bouncing off uh, 20 moving averages. Right, they are bouncing off 20 moving averages, and we are expecting it will pull back near 20 moving averages. All right. Let's see in a small time frame, like 15 minutes. They are bouncing off. Okay, let me show you. They are bouncing off 50 moving average also. Price are bouncing off 50, bouncing off 50. They form a bullish signal. So we are expecting to buy here and target will be somewhere there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.